Hi and welcome to le studio Marco Primo. One of you posted the question on one of my videos. This is the question. So today we're gonna check how to use external gear within your own mix into Magic Simplitude Pro X5. Let's dive in. So you've been recording some nice tracks and this is the time to mix. You realize you want to use some external gear. So that's what we're doing today. Let's go. All right, let's load a project. We're going to use um, me and my crew uh, from Wheel Events that we used in another uh, project. So. So to create an FX send and return uh, in Samplitude, hit Y and go at the bottom at Projects Options and External FX. The other way uh, to go there is to go into File and into Project Properties and then in External FX. So the first thing that you should do is choose the output. So you need a physical output in your audio interface that will output the signal to the external uh, unit that you want to use. So this is the output device. So here I chose Reamp, which is for me a software output. And Reamp, if I open my RME FX uh, mixer, is right here, reamp software playback. And then what I do is I redirect the software playback to a physical output, reamp, and this is my output three and four. So what I did is I took uh, those physical output and I sent it to uh, my uh, reverb unit, um, the MIDI verb four. And after that, I took the output of the MIDI verb 4 and I returned it to my uh, 4710 uh, inputs uh, and those would be the ADAT 5 and 6. Okay, so the input right here should be where you plugged the output of your external unit. So LA710 five and six, okay? And once you've decided the input and the outputs, uh, you click on create tracks and some tracks will be added to your project. Click okay. They were created exactly where uh, the selected track was. So I can move them down here. And we can see it in the mixer. FX send, FX return. In this project, every tracks and buses, uh, I decided to use a main bus, which is this one here. So I'm going to do the same with the FX return and choose main. The reason why I chose to uh, create a main output is to be able to send this signal to headphones or, of course, uh, other outputs. And one of those outputs is uh, the outputs that I uh, use to record with OBS and capture the image and the sound of the computer right now. So that's why I need to include this in my setup. But maybe you don't. So once you've created an FX bus, this FX01 send, the only thing you need to do is to send a signal to it, and this signal will be sent to your outboard gear. So let's do it with uh, the vocal. We're gonna solo the vocal, lead vocal first, and then FX send. We're gonna send some signal to it. And we're gonna hit play and check the levels on our uh, output unit. 
Some find strength in the Bible And are gonna get through this Yes, I said to me and my crew There ain't nothing to it so we have a signal that goes to the MIDI verb and comes back uh, through some inputs. And of course, if you mix your song like this and you just export to a WAV file, you won't have your effect. You need to record it as it was a new instrument. So on your FX return, uh, you should uh, select the right inputs. So this will be stereo and... LA 7, 10, 5, and 6. So our inputs are okay. We select record. Already some signal. This should be the inherent noise that uh, comes out of the unit. And we hit record. Some find strength in the Bible And others find courage in a bottle But when you strip up dignity Become necessity to fight with your right of survival So get up So let's play back We're gonna mute the sand And others find courage in a bottle But when you strip up dignity Become necessity to fight with your right of survival So get up So you see that when you record the signal It should be hot enough to let you mix it afterward if your levels are too low, uh, you won't be able to do what I do. Of course, when I recorded it, it was too loud. The reverb was too loud, uh, like this. But I can lower the volume now, and if I export my project in a WAV file, uh, or MP3s, or whatever, this effect is now an instrument recorded, so it will be exported as well. Let's hear it in the mix. Some find strength in the Bible, and others find courage in a bottle. But when you shift up dignity, become necessity to fight for your right of survival. So get up. Okay, and the fun thing with this is that since it's a uh, knock send and return you can send more than one instrument in this output so that's what we're gonna try um instead of the vocal let's send uh, the drums we're gonna send a drum bus like this and maybe the saxophone All right, and let's listen to it. Yeah, let's add the keys and uh, the electric guitar. And again. Okay, let's uh, record this. Okay, and we're gonna mute it and listen to the mix now. And of course, since it's a recorded instrument, you can EQ it. Uh, right now, I feel that there's too much low end since I sent the complete drum bus to it. All right, again. For your right of survival To get up, shut up, and do something I love the ripping on the people who be doing it for the love of the upbeat The dead beat, the hips out hippie Playing for the speed with the bucket on the street Said me and my crew are gonna get through bed Yes, I said to me and my crew there Ain't nothing too bad when the gloves are bought I said to me and my crew 
So that's what you can do with uh, the FX send and return um, with outboard gear with Samplitude. Of course, if you want to apply an external effect, uh, an hardware uh, unit to just one track, you may not need to do this. You could use only the mixer of your interface. But if you need to send uh, many uh, instruments to an external unit, either a compressor for mastering purpose, uh, EQ, or reverb as I just did, this is a good example how to do it. As far as I know, ARA2 is not used when you send some signal outside of your DAW and coming back. It's more a thing about the drivers of the audio interface and of course the converters uh, to digital to analog and then analog to digital. Those are the things that are working when you do so. ARA2 is more a process that help exchange uh, data between a plugin and the DAW. So for example, if you think about Melodyne, Samplitude can send some uh, information into Melodyne and take back the result and play in real time. And of course, exchanging all the changes that the plugin does. So that's where ARA is useful. So thank you for posting questions on my channel. It's a blessing for me because I don't have to look for new subjects to uh, display on the channel. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications. And of course, questions and comments below. Share my videos, it's always a great help.